Right here, Daniel, I'll get you that code. All right. Did you get the did you get the Paradex, Daniel? Yeah. Okay. No, are you in the Paradex? All right, cool, man. All right, guys, let's get started. Okay, unit six test review. This shouldn't take too long, actually. Okay, so we have to write an equation for this. You have to write an equation for this, okay? So there's a couple ways we can do it. Actually, let's just do it one way. Y equals AB raised to the X power. In fact, I'm going to put this up on the board so you guys can see it. You guys ready to do this? Write the right equation for this. Up here. So how do we write an equation for this? All right, can you guys see me on the board here? You guys, how about this? You guys, let's see how many people can write an equation. You guys try to write an equation for this. Write an equation, and I'll get you started. The first thing to get us to help us to do this is to, to make a table. You make a table. You know what I mean by making a table, Noel? All right. You know what I mean, Danny? About what I mean by making a table? You just mark those points down, right? So um, let's see. Can you guys see me up there? So you guys, I'm looking at your answers. So you guys have no responses so far. So let's make a table. And we have our x and our y. Let's look at our points. What is this point right here, right? So I go over 1, 2, 3. I go over negative 3. Then I go up. What is this? I go up 1. Can you guys can see the scale? Uh, no, I would say, because look at the scale. See how this is four, but it's not four up. So what am I? What are these increasing by? Two, right? You see that, Noah? Increasing by two here. Two, four, six, eight. So each one of these lines is two. So if I go up a half, if this is two, what's half of two? You know what I mean? If I go up one. You look like. Am I confusing you, Noah? Okay, stay focused on here. Like, look, look what I'm doing here, right? To get the to get the point, the coordinates of point, we need an x and a y, right? How far am I going over? One, two, three. You see, I go over negative three. That means my x is negative three, right? Right. And then, how far up am I going? Well, that's what we we're saying. Me and Danny were saying, is this one? Because look, at this is four. If I go up, if two of these equals four, how much does one of these equal? Two, right? So up one full one is two, but I only go up halfway. So it's half of two. Half of two. Did you say four? Oh, one. I think you said four. Yeah. So negative three, one. So that's that point there. Right? So you guys see, you guys gonna need to know how to get these points here. So this point right here, to get to this point, I go, right, negative two, and I go up one of these, but we've determined that one of these is two. You guys see my table there? And then I go negative one, right, up two, four. I went up four, right? I got negative one, 4, 
And now, I, now I'm in the middle, zero, zero, eight. And then I go, now look at here, now I go positive one. How far up do I go? Yeah, you guys, you're writing this down. You guys write this down, because remember, this is like, when you take the test, this is good. These notes are gonna help you on the test. Do you need, do you need graph paper? I have graph, do you need graph paper? Okay, I'll need some graph paper. You guys understand that table there? Let's see. Uh, Let's see, uh, Angelina Lou, do you understand that table? Yeah. Okay. So now with the table, we can write our equation for this. Y equals A B raised to the second power. Remember doing this yesterday again, Danny? So remember which one is my A, which one is my B. So if I get your notes out from yesterday, if you get your notes out from yesterday, you figure out which one's the A, remember. One of those zeros is a number, and then how much are we? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. We got, there you go, we got a whole stack. So we come tomorrow. So tomorrow we're taking the test. So remember, how much am I increasing by here? I go from one to two, from two to four, from four to eight, from eight to 16. What am I doing? Jess, I'm going to in the chat. Actually, I'm going to ask you guys first. Do you know what, what am I doing now? Am I adding? What am I adding? But it has to be the same, remember? So if it's changing, then we don't want to do adding. Let's try multiplying, right? What do you think if I multiply? I'm going to ask someone in the class. Uh, Edgar Mejia, what am I doing here? Uh, you're multiplying times two. Multiplying times two. You guys see that? So, and that's the exponential. Remember, we multiply. So I go one times two is two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. Exponential, right? So, remember... Let's write our equation right here. It's going to be y equals a b to the x. Remember, what is my a and what is my b? This is what we talked about yesterday. Ooh. No, that's not the a. Yes, the a. Okay. So let's let's color code, right? Those of you actually write. Let's see how many of you can write the equation in the pair deck, and then I'll give you the hints, right? Those of you, I'm sure some of you already know how to write the equation in the pair deck. But see what I did is I put it as a table, and then we just go, what's my a and what's my b? They're right there in the table. We've done this before. They're right there in the table. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at your answers in the pair deck because you guys are doing this. This is a test question. Tomorrow's the test. Natalia, when's the test? Tomorrow. Yes, very good. So you guys don't need to put the table or anything. Okay. Uh, I got one correct answer. I'm gonna tell you who's correct. Octavio, very good. Antonio, very good. Danny. Good job. Good, you guys are nailing this. Edgar, very good. Leilani Mendoza, very good. Edith, very good. I think that I think you meant to put that X up there, but Edith, very good because you typed it in. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with this. Okay, let me give you guys a hint. Those of you who have no idea how to do it. Okay. Here's a hint. Remember, the multiplier, I'm putting that in blue. Remember, that's the B. The B is in blue. That's the multiplier. Write that in your notes so when you take the test. And then remember, where X is 0, okay, I'm putting that in red. That is my A. 
right? Remember, we did that. Now, the hardest part is making the table. I think that's the hard part. I think once you get that, though, it's pretty easy if you know what goes with what, right? So, right, everyone should have the equation written down there. If you didn't have it, write it up there so I can see. I can see what you're Wait, Mr. Sanchez. Yeah. What's up? Um, why, why is the eight the A? Well, because this is – because this is at my zero. Now, if you want to know why the equation works that that way, wait, first of all, wait, who asked that again? So I know, was it, uh, who asked that? I'm sorry, second, so was it Austin? No. Yeah, it was Austin. Okay, Austin, tell me if this is a good enough answer for you. The A is wherever the zero is. Yeah. Is that a good enough? Do you want to explain in more depth? No, I, I understand. I was just, I just didn't know. That's all you need? Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. That's all I want. Basically, if you plug in zero here, though, you end up with eight. You want it so I plug in zero because this is the first point when this is it becomes one. But anyway, just remember that the zero is my eight. It's called my initial value. All right. Now I'm going to look at your answers. Okay, I can see who's responding, who's not. So... This is more for your benefit, not mine. So see if you can write the answer out. Um, okay, Olivia, sound of all, very good. Okay. Read them well. I don't see them. Huh? Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey, you got it. Good job, Noah. Okay. All right. So here's the answer. I'm just going to write it on the board. I'm going to write it on the board. So it should look like most of you got it. Y equals A is the 8 times B. You don't have to put in parentheses. Don't put in parentheses. If it's a fraction, you should put in parentheses. B is the 2. And then a lot of you, because you typed it out, you have the X down here. Just make sure you know that the X goes in the exponent. So it has to go up like that. And that's your answer. Very good. Most of you got that. So you practice making the chart, though. Make sure you can write, make the chart on your own. Make sure you can make the chart on your own. Let's look at another one, shall we? Okay, so here we go. I'm, I'm doing the pair. Actually, let me present so you guys. I know you guys can see in the pair deck, but I'm going to present my pair deck right now. I know you can see it, but I, I don't know if this is better for you or not. Okay, boom. There's the answer. Y equals 8 times 2 to the X. Notice the 2's in parentheses. That kind of makes it easier to understand if you put it in parentheses there. Don't put an X for multiplication. Okay. Now. Plot the points. Are they linear or exponential? Now we could plot them or we can do a chart and figure it out. What do you guys want to do? Should we plot them on a graph or would you guys want to do a chart? Or you want to do both? Should we do both? Do you care? Danny? Want to do the chart? Okay. I might do both. In the class, we're voting for the chart. All right. Does anyone have any preference if I want to, you want to graph it or? Well, let's do the chart. Let me look at the points here, actually. Can you guys see me? I don't know if you guys can see me. That's not what I want. I would, let me write the points out. I'm going to erase this. So I'm going to draw the chart first. We have, so let's write it out. Okay, so you guys, you guys make this as the chart. Negative one, one fourth. And then uh, zero, one half. Now remember, if I multiply the y's, then it's exponential. If I add the y's, it's linear. Remember last time we multiplied times two, right? That was exponential. Um, 
one one and two two and three four. I don't know if you guys can all see this, but I'm just gonna make the chart. Here we go. Okay, let me get to the let me get here. I'm gonna stop presenting. I think you guys can see better. Okay, so I have here my X and my Y, right? Do you guys fill in the chart? Make the chart. You guys make the chart. Make the chart on your own and see if you can tell if it's linear or exponential. If you need help, I'll start it out for you. Take a peek. Try to do it on your own, but take a peek to make sure you're right. This is my X. This is my Y. Negative 1, 1, 4. X, Y. 0, 1, half. Right? Am I adding or am I multiplying? That's what you want to find out. Am I adding or am I multiplying? And then write down what it is. Write down linear or exponential. Write it in there if, once you get it. If you know, and then uh, I'll explain the answer. Okay? I'll explain the answer after we, uh, you know. Yes, that is exactly right. You are correct, sir. I'm going to look this suit. I'm going to see what you guys are doing here. I'm just checking. I'm going to check your answers. Just write it on there. Just write linear exponential. Leilani Mendoza, you are correct. You just write down as a linear exponential. Octavio, you are correct. Antonio, you are correct. Let's start. Please start. I guess a 50-50 chance on this question, right? All right, so I'm going to start. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start filling out the chart. If you guys don't have the chart, then you can see, right? You can start looking. If you're stuck, one, one, two, two, three, four. Okay. Let's. Now a lot of people are probably saying, "Oh gosh, darn it, these fractions." I can't. Okay, well, if you don't like fractions, it's fine. Start with the numbers. How do I go from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 4? Look at those, the easy ones. What am I doing? No, I'll go from 1 to 2 and 2 to 4. Yeah, very good. Uh, let's see. Um, Devin Solis, what am I doing to go from 1 to 2 and 2 to 4? Multiplying by 2. Yeah, multiplying by 2. Times 2, times 2. Guess what? From 1 half to 1, if you double 1 half, it becomes 1, right? 2, 1. So I'm also multiplying by 2 here. And 2, 1 fourths make a half, believe it or not. So I can see that I'm multiplying by 2. If I'm multiplying by 2, is that exponential or linear? If you're multiplying, right? What do you think, Noel? Or why would it be exponential? Hmm? I don't get exponential. No, no. Anytime you multiply, it's exponential. Why? Oh, because it makes it look like this. It goes straight up. Notice, look at here. At my y's, this y was 1. And if you double 1, you get 2. If you double 2, it gets even bigger. You get 4. If you double 4, you get 8. See how big it gets? And then 16. And then 32. And then 64. So the exponential, whenever you multiply, see, every time it doubles up, it, goes, it just shoots right up. 6, 428. Then you're, next thing you know, you're in like a 1,000, right? But we started off with one. 
So exponential basically means it's going to shoot up quick. If I kept doubling this, it's going to be uh, 8 and then 16. So whenever you see multiplication, you're thinking exponential. Exponential shoots up quick. Did you know? Was here. Linear, you add. It goes up like a line. Linear would look like this. It'll go up like this. All right? just goes up like that. But exponential, it goes up like this. So it goes up way faster. That's what exponential is. When you're just going to be a line, just add two every single time. Add two, add two, add two. Add three, add three. Okay, so linear, you add exponential, you multiply. That's what you're looking for. If you multiply, it's exponential. If you add, it's linear. And because we are multiplying, this is, um, because we are multiplying, it's shooting up. It's exponential. Now, those of you for the bonus, I want you to write an equation for that. Write an equation for that. Write an equation for that uh, exponential function here. Write an equation for this. Write an equation. Should take you 30 seconds to do. A, B to the X. I will give you a hint. If you don't want it, the hint, don't look at my board. Don't look at my board if you don't want the hint. I'm using my colors. Colors, 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 colors. Right? So that's exponential. You use this. Remember, exponential has the x and the exponent, and it's going to shoot up in its multiplication. Okay, what is the equation? Y equals, actually, I should call on someone. Did you get the equation, Danny? What do you get? Yeah. Two to the X, right? So you got Noel? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, Chris and Magallanes, what did you get for the equation? Y equals 0 0.5. What's that? Uh, Wait, I didn't hear. I'm y, sorry. Y equals 0 0.5 to okay. the 2. Power? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'm going to say one half. You're right. 0 0.5 is the same. I'm going to say one half since it's one half. It's one half times two, which is my two, raised to the x. Boom. That's it. There's your exponential function. Why is it called exponential? Because x is in the exponent, right? Why is it called exponential? Because I multiply by two every time. Why is it called exponential? Because if I graph it, it's going to shoot straight up. Those are the characteristics of our exponential function. Huh. Austin, is this helpful or not? Yeah, it is. It's very helpful. Okay, good. I like how you said very helpful. Okay, look, I put on its exponential function. There's your answer. I mean, it's pretty easy. That's a 50-50 chance, but, I mean, you might as well... Be ready to get it right. I'm trying to make it so that I could present. Hey, by the way, I see some of you came in late. Those of you who came in late, stay after class because I have you marked absent, and you don't want to be marked absent if you're here. So stay after class. So I can mark you here. I think, Crystal, I, I didn't put the call. I think you're here, right? At least you were. Yeah, I'm here. Sorry. So don't forget to stay after, okay? So here we go. Uh, okay, boom. Is this function linear or exponential? What does the word linear mean to us? What does the word linear, when you hear the word linear, um, Olivia, when you hear the word linear, what are you thinking? What is that word? What's, what's a short word for linear, Olivia? Or do you even know? Um, is it? Bigger? No, linear like like if you're telling my um 
my nine-year-old kid what what the word linear means. And if you don't know, I'll ask someone else. Should I ask um, someone else? Straight? Is it straight? Uh, sort of. That's not the word I'm looking for, but I know what you mean. And I'll get back to you in a second, Olivia. You are not wrong by saying straight, but that's not the word I am looking for. Let's go with um, uh, Angelina Rodriguez, linear. Give me a word, another word for linear that I, that I would tell my nine-year-old daughter. Angelina Rodriguez? Yeah. Give me another word for linear. Oh, Rosa Balderas. You wrote it in the chat. Look what Rosa wrote in the chat. She is correct. Angelina Rodriguez. What's line? Another? Yeah, line. Olivia, that makes sense? Yeah. So yeah, linear means line. Is, is, this, is this function linear? Okay, so write down or exponential. Remember, exponential shoots up. Linear, okay, comes from the word line. So write down what you think that is. Is that linear or exponential? Go ahead, everyone should, should answer that right now. Is that linear or exponential? This function, is it linear or exponential? Linear, exponential. I'm gonna stop sharing, I'm gonna look at your answers. All right, Crystal Magallanes, you are correct. Naomi, you are correct. Leilani Mendoza, you are correct. Rosie, Serato, you are correct. Octavio, you're correct. Danny is correct. Edith is correct. Edgar is correct. Antonio is correct. Abigail is correct. Angelina Rodriguez is correct. Austin is correct. Noel is correct. Olivia is correct. I think Elias is correct. Italia is correct. Okay, cool. I think we got it. Linear is a line, right? No problemo. That means no problem in Spanish. Okay. And you can see I'm in the pair deck now. You can see that it says linear. Actually, I'll present so you can look at it through me. I don't know. I don't know how what looks better for you guys if I present. Is it better if I present too when I do the pair deck? Can we look at it, Danny? Or does it matter? You see how I'm presenting now? The answers. Is that better or is it so you don't have to flip back and forth? Doesn't matter. I think it's better. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Thanks, Noel. Okay, look here. Evaluate the function below. All right. Let's evaluate it. What do you mean by evaluate, Sensei? Why are you talking so late? I don't know. Why are you talking so late? All evaluate means you're going to cover this up. Let me write it down so that you can see what we're doing here. All evaluate means, see I'm writing it down here, f of x equals negative 4 times 4. Oh, by the way, no, is this linear or exponential? Mm. Hang on a second. Let's see what Danny thinks. Danny, Danny, what do you think? Linear exponential. Yes. Remember, if this is in the exponent, it's exponential. The x. Oh, you, that's what you meant to say. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. You are correct. That is correct. Okay. Now, what does it mean to evaluate? So I'm going to stop sharing so you can look at me. I'm just putting it up here. There, I wrote it all down so you can see what I have here. What does this mean? When I say f of x equals negative 4 times 4 raised to the x power, uh, let's see, crystal ion put the call. Is this a linear or exponential equation? Crystal? Crystal! Mark you up, so I'm going to get back to you in a second. Uh, let's go with um, Italia Solorio. Is this exponential or linear? Italia! What's going Sorry, on? my mic's going crazy. Um, it's linear. Okay. Uh, I'll say no to that. Try again. Oh, what was it? 
Um, linear or exponential? Exponential. Well, I'll tell you, why is it exponential? Do you know why or should I tell you? Uh, if you don't know, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. okay. How do we know that that's exponential? You guys got to know what the difference is. That's the whole point of this chapter is you have to know if it's linear or exponential. You guys got to know that. Because oh, there's wow. Mr. Sanchez. Wait, hang on. Rosie Serato, go ahead. Uh, um, I have to leave class early. Okay, but tell me why this is linear or exponential before you go, Rosie. Uh, can you say it again, please? Is this linear or exponential? You know? Don't mute, Rosie. I'm talking to you. Um, linear? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Rosa Balderas, is this linear or exponential? Please, 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 please. Exponential. Yes, why? Because there's an exponent. Yes, the X is the exponent. Okay, Rosie, do you see that? Rosie. Rosie Serato. Did you leave? Yeah, I see that. So if you have this as an exponent, it is exponential. If the x is the exponent, it's exponential. Okay, Rose, I don't know if you're going to leave or not, but Natalia, what did I just say? Tell me what I said. That it's an exponential because there's an exponent. Yeah, because the x is the exponent. It, it's not a, if this was a 2, then it's not a, it has to be x or t. It has to be a variable. Okay, right? Italia, um, Italia, that makes sense? Yeah. Okay, cool. So they want us to evaluate this function when x equals 2. What that means is that I'm going to take this negative 4 times 4, and instead of x, I am going to put a 2 there. And then you solve it. So go ahead and solve. That's what it means to evaluate, is to plug this into that and then simplify it so you guys simplify it and see if you can answer it quick hint. mr sanchez yes um how did you get the two it was you look at look at the pair deck okay thank you i was just look i was just a little confused i'm showing you austin good question it means you're paying attention are you looking austin yeah i'm looking Austin, yeah. Do you see yeah. it here in the pair deck? Yeah, I have it X open. I just, I just um, was a little confused. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thank you. Is that answer? Okay, yeah. cool. Now everyone, look. As you're solving this, I'm going to look at the answers. Here's a hint: the order of operations says I have to do the exponent first. Don't multiply first, do the exponent first, which means four to the second power. Do you know what that means with four to the second power? Yes, you're both right. And then you multiply by negative four. Okay, I'm looking for the answers on the pair deck, seeing if you guys get this. I'm looking, I am looking at your pair deck, homies, homies. Do you guys have an answer? I'm gonna take a look. I'm just going. good here in the classroom we're kicking butt we are kicking butt all right noel i see your answer very good elias ortega very good uh okay cool we're um make sure you get the answer i want the answer i'm looking for the answer it is exponential 
Octavio, you are correct. Uh, Leilani Mendoza, you are correct. Daniel Mejia, Danny, you're correct. Very good. I already saw yours, though. Edith, you're correct. Antonio, you're correct. Okay. Some of you have now responded. I can see. I don't know if you're not paying attention or if you just don't flat out get it. Either one's not good. I'll tell you that right now. Either one is not good. The worst is, though, if you're not paying attention. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to spend much more time on this. Order of operations, right? PEMDAS says I got to do my exponent first. 4 raised to the second power is 16. 4 times 4, right? So I say negative 4 times 16. Now I can multiply these, right? Remember, negative times a positive, my answer is going to be negative. Negative 4 times 16 is negative 64. And that's all you got to do. Your answer is negative 64. Make sure you do the exponent first. We have a test tomorrow. A test tomorrow. Test tomorrow. I don't know if you guys are learning anything right now. Teacher. 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 Teacher, please. Teacher, please. Hey, Angelina Lou. Angelina Lou, are you there? Yeah. Hey, why didn't you come to class today? What? Why didn't you come to class today? Um, I got hit by a car and I have a concussion. Oh, shoot. I remember you said that. I hope you feel better. Thank I miss, you. I miss you here. But, um... All right. Okay, uh, let's see. Is this exponential growth or decay? Now, it has to do with this number here. And let me write it on the board. Is it growth or decay? Is this exponential growth or decay? Zero point seven five times 1.05 raised to the x power. Now, or t, this one's raised. This, okay, is this, Noel, is this linear or exponential, this equation? That's correct. Very good. All right. Now, is this an exponential uh, or a linear equation, right? Is it exponential or linear? Uh, Antonio, what do you think? Is this exponential or linear? Exponential. Very good. Now, is this a growth or a decay? Remember, growth means it's getting bigger. Now, let me draw a couple of pictures so you guys remember what it is. Exponential growth. Let's go like this. Exponential growth will look like this. You have a function. And it's going to go like this. It's going to go up. It means it's getting bigger. That's a growth. Okay? It's exponential. Remember, it's exponential. It shoots up. It is a growth. Now, an example, the big thing that we want to look at for our growth, or let me do a decay because we have to do decay. Decay is this. Decay will look like this. It's going to go start up, and it's going to go down. See how it's decay? It starts up, and it goes down. Now, growth, the key number is this number right here. I'm going to write it right here. Y equals 2 times 3 to the X. This is an example of growth. This number right here in growth has to be bigger than 1. If this number is bigger than 1, it is a growth. Because it means, right, if you multiply anything by, if you multiply a number bigger than 1, it gets bigger, right? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. 
If it's bigger than one, it gets bigger. In decay, in decay, this number has to be less than one and bigger than zero. Because if you multiply by a fraction, it gets smaller. So it has to be less than one and bigger than zero. So my question is, is this number bigger or less than one? And that should tell us if it's growth or decay. So write all this down if it helps you understand it for the test. What do you think? Is that growth or decay? I'm going to look at your answers. Write down, what do you think? Is that growth or decay? I guess if you don't know, put IDK. And uh, that way I know at least you're paying attention. Okay, uh, let's go with um, Octavio, you are correct. Elias Ortega, you are correct. I think uh, I think you're correct. And Leilani Mendoza, you are correct. Edgar Mejia, you are correct. Edith, you are correct. Uh, Austin, you are correct. Daniel Mejia, you are Danny, you're correct. Okay, so let me ask you this now. Is this number bigger than one? Is it bigger than one? Even though it's a little bit. Is it bigger? 1.05? Oh, yeah. This one? This number. The one next to the exponent. If it's bigger than one, then it's growth. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, hey, uh, Leilani Mendoza, is this bigger than one? Yes. So is it exponential growth or decay? Exponential growth. Very good. Even if it's a little bit bigger than one, it is growth. That's it. It's growing. It's going to grow by a little bit, but it's going to grow. It's actually growing by 5%. This is growing by 5%. Okay, so let's look at the next one. I'm moving on. Uh, let me uh, present. Uh, where am I? Let's see here. We're almost done. How are we doing on time? Okay, so you guys, we said it's grow growth. Okay, what about this one? Is this exponential growth or decay? Write down what you think your answer is. Is that growth or decay? Is it growth or decay? Look at my table. Look at my chart there. Can you see? Can you see the chart in the in the computer too? So look at my chart here. Which one does it match up? Is it growth or decay? Write down your answers. I'm going to look at your answers. Is that you guys look at your pair deck? I'm closing this up. Is that growth or decay? Growth or decay? What do you guys think? Okay, I'm starting to see. Uh, let's see. Danny, you are correct. Octavio, you are correct. Angelina Rodriguez, you are correct. Abigail, you're correct. Edith, correct. Leilani, correct. Noel, you're correct. Edgar Mejia, correct. Antonio's correct. Rosa's correct. Austin's correct. Italia's correct. Olivia's correct. Naomi's correct. Elias is correct. Yes, it is actually growth. It's growth. It's getting bigger, right? It looks like this one. It's going up. It is growth. That's it. I, let's see. All right, that's it. I, are there any questions on this review? Okay, I am going to go ahead and let you guys go. Remember, tomorrow's the test, so be here for the test, and Friday's an async day. So those of you who are going to come into class, you'll be taking the test in the classroom, okay? Just so you know, remember that. If you're coming to school tomorrow, you'll take the test in the classroom, which is fine. 
And uh, what should I say? I don't think I have anything else to say. Are there any questions? All right, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Bye, Angelina. Bye, Elias. Bye, Octavio. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Alberto. Bye, Abigail. Bye, Antonio. Bye, Crystal. Bye, Angelina. Bye, Edgar. All right. Crystal, you're here. Yeah, I think you marked me absent. I did. Hang on, let me stop. Let me stop recording. Boom. Oh.